I think we could make this really cool. Welcome back to the Stat Network. I'm Dave Moore. Joining and I'm me, Curtis of course, Lane. human resources manager of his own personal lives, Curtis Lane. Of his own personal lives. <laughs> I have multiple lives. I, I have multiple, multiple lives. I think I, I stumbled over the word lives and said lies. I also have lies. Over his own personal lies, Curtis Lane. Uh <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to have a personal lie? Does it just mean you're lying to yourself? Uh, we've got we've got another IPA from Stone for the twelve days of IPAs. Uh, crap, I didn't read this one at all. Uh, this, this is one's a, a cloud gazer, cloud gazer, Ooh, like hazy What's IPA. Saying? Yeah, no, I like this one. Sounds very nice to me. Mm-hmm. It doesn't sound too strong, but you know we could be proven wrong. I'm just, I'm just gonna pour it. Yeah. I'm just reading the back of it really quick and kind of like it just talks about how it has citrus and uh, fruit, stone fruit tones, which would be cool. Yep. Excuse me. Wow. Citrus is common in these IPAs. I think they think that citrus will overpower the hops. Uh, citrus masks a lot of the nasty flavor. I'm getting a huge smell of grapefruit as I poured it. I got a big head. <laughs> I got a normal sized head. It's very hazy, just like the other one, but it is also it is listed as a hazy IPA. I definitely get the stone fruit. I'm not sure what kind. Like, I can't place it. It definitely has a fruitier aroma, though. It's like a, you know, grapefruit, melon, citrus. Yeah. <laughs> grapefruit, melon, citrus. Yeah, grapefruit, melon, citrus. I'm, I'm getting like a... There is something else on there, too. It's not my. It's not quite apricot. I think it's like peachy, but I, I have said peachy before, but it, it's fairly... It's like peach, kind of. I'm not getting quite the peachy smell, but maybe, maybe it'll taste peachy. Let's taste it. All right. Is your head too big? I can power through. All right. That one's much lighter. You're than right. The other ones. You're right. It might be a little PG. It's almost got like consistency of like water. It's so light. It is light. It's very light, even though it's hazy. Yeah. Like some of the other ones, like, you know, you get a beer that's like, oh, it has the consistency of like a, a milk almost. Like it's thicker. Yeah. This one is so thin. You gotta get that lip smacking. <laughs> it's not as IPA as some of the other ones. This one's, I would even like say this is the least IPA of all of them so far. Ah, uh, I definitely I get the get, least amount of hops in this one. I definitely get the hops. There was one that we had that was very juicy and felt very similar in this way. Yeah, um, this one's also juicy. I I get less overall flavor in this one. I kind of like it though. It's not bad. It, I, it's, this is definitely not my favorite. No, it's not my favorite. It, it's the most like mild in terms of beer, and I guess you know if it's a cloud gazer, you know it's you're, it's meant to be like chill and more relaxing. Like, yeah, like more of a oh, it's more of like a wheat beer. So like this is made with barley, oats, and wheat. Okay, as their base. I don't know what their normal base is, but but hops isn't the you know the primary. Hops is a flavor profile, so it is not a main hops flavor. Right. This is. It's very reminiscent of like a. Uh, Truthfully, I'm going to say like a Heineken, if Heineken made something super flavorful. <laughs> uh, it's a really, 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 really good Heineken. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a good Heineken, you know, if like a Heineken was good. I'm going to get some hate, hopefully, on that oh one. Oh my god, dude. yeah, it, it's a bad comparison, everybody. Uh, it's definitely, it's up there, and one of the beers that it's I've okay. enjoyed. I, I'm, yeah. I'm a bigger I feel fan like I of... I could drink like several of these. Yeah, I'm a bigger fan of these lighter beers. I, just, I don't know, and I have beer. I'm a big fan of it being easy to go down and tasting good and like this. this I agree. Would go really well at the bar with the bar food and the wings and you know, like oh yeah, that kind of stuff. Like this feels right. This would be what I would bring to a picnic. Yeah, this isn't pushing your limits. This isn't challenging to get through. No, not no, at all. I appreciate but it. It's, it's taste. It, it's a good taste. Like it, obviously, it's not my favorite beer, but I, I was kind of expecting a little bit more like fruit flavor. But yeah. Based that's on the just, smell, that's just on me. Yeah, yeah, especially based on the smell. But you know, it's, it this would be something that I would pick up a twelve pack and be comfortable taking it to a picnic and be like, yeah, people will enjoy this. Yeah, the IPA people, you know, will like this. Anyway, Clown Gazer Stone IPA, twelve days of IPA. It's here on the Snack Network. If you guys enjoy tasting videos, we try all sorts of snacks, beers, pops. Every every basically, if it's edible, we'll try it. I'll eat anything. I mean, almost. We'll see you guys soon for another video here on the Snack Network.